Hello friends, in this session we will discuss the questions related to transportation engineering which were asked in GATE 2022, the afternoon session. In my earlier video, I have solved all questions which were asked in forenoon session. Here we will discuss afternoon session questions. The first question is that for a traffic stream, V is the space mean speed, K is the density, Q the flow, Vf the free flow speed, Kj jam density. Assume that speed decreases linearly with density, which of the following relations is correct? Now when the speed decreases linearly with, the speed, with the density, it is green shield equation. And according to green shield equation, this is the free flow speed Vf and this is the jam density Kj. And equation for this line is that V is Vf into 1 minus K upon Kj. You can find out the speed at any density K if you know these boundary conditions Vf and Kj. And the fundamental equation between flow speed and density is Q is equal to K into V. So Q is K into Vf. 1 minus k upon kj. If you simplify this, it will be vf into k minus k square into vf upon kj. That is the relationship between q and k and v. And that is your option 2, option b. That q is equal to vf into k minus Vf upon Kj into K square. So, only one option is correct. The second question is, the base length of the runway at mean sea level is 1500 meter. The runway is located at an altitude of 300 meter above mean sea level. What would be the actual length of the runway? So, base length is given 1500 meter, runway is at 300 meter and therefore you need to correct the basic base runway length and correction is 7 percent for every 300 meter and because the elevation is also 300 meter, so only correction required is 7 percent. So, the corrected length will be 1500 plus 1500 into 0 0.07 or you can say 105. This will be 105 meter. So, corrected length will be 1605 meter. That is the answer to this question. Third question is, a single lane highway has a traffic density of 40 vehicles per kilometer. That is a question number 3. The time mean speed time mean speed is 40 km per hour and space mean speed is 30 km per hour. What is the headway? The average headway in seconds between the vehicles is required. Now here you should not get trapped by this factor time mean speed because when you use this equation q is equal to k into v v here is space mean speed. This value is extra just to trap the students and therefore q is 40 into 30 that is 1200 vehicles per hour and inverse of q is the time headway, average headway. Average headway is 1 upon q or you can say 3600 upon 1200 3 second. That is the time headway. 1200 vehicles per hour. In one hour, 1200 vehicles. So, every 3 seconds there will be one vehicle. That is the headway. So, that is the answer. You have to write the answer here. Fill the answer here 3 seconds. Question number 4 is a parabolic vertical crashed curve connects two road segments with gradient plus 1 percent 
and a gradient minus 2%. And because it is given that it is a crest curve, that means summit curve. So, a positive gradient will be followed by a negative gradient and that is how you get a crest curve here. Okay. If a 200 meter stopping site distance is needed, S, S, D is 200 meter. The driver's height is given 1.2 meter. The obstacle height or object height is given 0.15 meter. Now, these are standard values. Now, here the requirement is to calculate length of the curve, length of vertical curve. And it can be two cases, either L is more than SSD or L is less than SSD. Let us take the first case that length of the curve is more than SST. So, the length is n s square upon 2 into plus square root of h square. That is the equation. n s square, n is the gradient, change in gradient. And change in gradient here is 3% plus 1 minus minus 2 that is 3% or 0 0.03. S is the stopping side distance that is 200 meter, capital H 1.2 meter, small h 0 0.15 meter. If you substitute the values, this will be n s square upon 4.4. That is the standard equation we use. So, this is 0 0.03 into 200 square upon 4.4. And this will be 272.7 meter. That is the answer. And what it says, round off to the nearest integer. So, it will be 273. 273 meter. That is the answer to the question. Question 5 is, assuming that traffic on a highway obeys the green shield model, the speed of shock wave between two traffic streams P and Q. P is corresponding to the flow equal to 1200 vehicles per hour and speed is 30 km, 60 km per hour. And Q is the flow 1800 vehicles per hour. And speed is 60 km, 30 km per hour. Now, this is basically done like this that if you make a plot between flow and density, this is the flow and this is the density. Okay. The first point is here, somewhere here that is point number P. Flow is 1200 and therefore density will be 1200 upon 60. Q is equal to K into V. That is the equation. So, it will be 20. This is corresponding to a density of 20. Another one is here. The flow is larger now. Q point. Now, flow here is 1800 speed is 30 and therefore k is 60 vehicles per kilometer vehicles per kilometer so this is k p and this is k q now this is the speed of shock wave the slope of this line is the speed of shock wave and that is given by this equation the speed of shock wave is q2 or you can say qq minus qp upon kq minus kp and that is the difference in the flow 600 difference in the density 40 that is 15 15 km per hour is the speed of shock wave that is how this question is to be done Question number 6. It is given that an aggregate mix has 260 grams of coarse aggregate and 240 grams of fine aggregate.
The specific gravity of the coarse aggregate and fine aggregate are 2.6 and 2.4. The bulk specific gravity of the mix GB is 2.3. The percent to air wires. What is the percent air wires? Now, this is not the complete mix because complete mix will require coarse aggregate, fine aggregate, filler and bitumen. But it is a mix. Now, coarse aggregate, fine aggregate, that total is 500 grams. And air wires, air wires is given by this equation. What is the theoretical specific gravity minus bulk specific gravity upon GT? Theoretical specific gravity for zero air wires. And this theoretical specific gravity is calculated by this equation. Total weight 500 divided by weight of the coarse aggregate divided by its specific gravity plus weight of fine aggregate divided by its specific gravity. 260 upon 2.6 is 100, 240 upon 2.4 is 100 and therefore it will be 2.5. This is theoretical specific gravity and therefore air wires is 2.5 minus 2.3 upon 2.5 and that is 0.8. Or you can say 8%. 8% is the air wires. Exact 8%, there is no rounding of required. That is question number 6. Question number 7. Question number 7 is like this The lane configuration with the lane volume in vehicle per hour of a four arm signal light intersection is shown in figure. And figure is like this. There are two phases. The first phase is for east-west and west-east through movements. Second phase is for north-south and south-north uh, movement and there are no turning movements. Assume that the saturation flow is 1800 vehicles per hour per lane and the total loss time for the first and the second phase together is 9 seconds. What is the optimum cycle length as per Webster method? Now, this is the approach east-west, this approach has two lanes, this approach has two lanes, this approach has single lane, north-south and south-north. And this traffic is 504 and 504 in each lane. And this is 440 and 460 vehicles per hour in the east lane and west lane and this southbound is 396 and here in this direction it is 360 vehicles per hour. Now these are two lanes. Total flow here is Q is 900 vehicles per hour. 440. Total flow here is 1008 vehicle per hour. Saturation flow S, it says 1800 vehicles per hour per lane, and there are two lanes, so 3600 vehicles per hour of green. And here also it is same, S is 3600. Now this is single lane, and therefore S will be here just 1800. S will be here 1800. Now, Webster equation. Now, Webster equation is that optimum cycle is 1.5 into L plus 5 upon 1 minus summation of yi values. Now, what is yi? Yi is the flow ratio and it is critical flow ratio. For each phase, for each phase there will be one value of critical flow ratio. Critical means, now Q by S, Q by S is Y, YI. This will have some value, 900 upon 3600, 0.25. In the same phase, these vehicles are also moving. So, here Y is 
1008 upon 3600 that is 0.28 higher of these two value is the critical value so 0.28 for the first phase and for the second phase for the second phase when you east west movement are there so s is 1800 and therefore y is 396 upon 1800 and here y is 360 upon 1800 because this value is higher than this value so that becomes critical 0.22 0.22 so critical flow ratio for two phases 0.28 and 0.22 some of these two values l is given 9 seconds so if you put these value 1.5 into 9 plus 5 upon 1 minus 0.28 plus 0.22 that is 0.5 half so it is 37 second 37 second that is the answer 37 second will be the optimum round off to the nearest integer so there is nothing to be put in decimals generally optimum cycle length is expressed in multiple of 5 seconds but here you don't have to do that answer here is 37 seconds only because in the question in the answer sheet they are in the key there will be range of values and that range may be 35 to 38 seconds so better you keep it 37 second as you have calculated so these are the seven questions which were asked in the afternoon session of gate 2022 thank you very much for watching this video You can write suggestions in the comment box.